Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create custom charts in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Have you ever wanted to create charts in your Doodly whiteboard videos? Now Doodly does come with some stock charts. And as you can see in these examples here, they really are illustrative. They do not convey your own personal data. They just kind of tell the story that, hey, here's a chart. Okay, and that's fine in a lot of instances, but what if you're doing a video and you need to present your own data? Well, this isn't gonna cut it. You're gonna need to create your own custom chart. Now, how can you do that? You do have a couple of options. For example, in this screen here, I created my own growth chart. It's just a scatter plot type chart, and I created it completely with doodly elements. And you may have already guessed that this is an arrow, and this is an arrow, and these are asterisks. So I just took a font and I typed in an asterisk. So that's pretty basic. And you can just simply go over here and you type in arrows and you can find the arrow that I used, which is this one. You could also go to categories, shapes, and you'll find some different, oh, let's get rid of arrow here. You'll find all kinds of different shapes that you could use in a chart. So for something like that, that's pretty easy. But what if you wanted a bar chart like this, or maybe a pie chart? Well. This particular one I did create and import in on my own, and it was quite easy to do. If you're comfortable in Microsoft Excel, you can make your charts there. And that's what I did, and I'll just show you. I'm here in Microsoft Excel. I created my data, so I've got my sales and my year. And then I selected, I went over to insert and then chart type, and I chose a bar chart and then it just automatically plots it for you. I did do a little formatting. I made the numbers bolder and larger than the stock one, but that's pretty much all you need to do. Now to export it, you click Control and tap on your mouse at the same time and you get this little menu here. Save as picture and then you just export it, okay? Now I want to have the hand draw in my numbers. Okay, so I don't want all of this detail. I just want the hand to do it for me, but I do want my bars so that it looks nice. So let's go back to Excel and we're going to turn off all this stuff. So you just highlight it and click delete. So again, just click on it and click delete. And that's looking pretty good. I'm going to delete those as well. And that's much better for what my purposes are. Let's delete this too. So now I'm going to control tap. You got to make sure nothing's selected within the chart. So control tap and then save as picture. And I'm just going to name this. I go back over to doodly and I'm in the props. Since I have categories selected, I need to go back to all and that gives me my little blue plus sign back. And I'm going to go ahead and add my chart. So let's get rid of this one. Let me size that a bit. That's good. Let's select both and let's make this board a little larger. And that will be good for our purposes. Now you notice right here this chart is covering my man, so we need to just move the man down. And that will be good. Now we can do our hand drawing of all the data. So go to text, choose a font that you'd like to use. I'm gonna use this one.
gonna control click all of my numbers here and I'm going to shrink them down just a tad. That way they don't crowd each other so much. They're still nice and large and legible. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now we just need to make sure our order and timing is how we'd like it. I'm going to have the board draw on quickly. For my chart itself, I'm going to click the pencil icon and I'm going to just have it fade on rather than scribble. And then I'm going to have my guy be the last thing that comes on. So he's going to go down here at the bottom. And then I probably want my years to come on before the numbers. So we're going to move these up. Sales will be first. And maybe we go 2017, 150,000. And then 2018, the 99,000. Okay, so I'll have the year drawn first and then the dollar amount. So it's just a matter of dragging and dropping these into place. And I think that will look nice. We may want some delays, we'll see. So if you right click and hit preview, Okay, so that took a lot of time and that may be fine if you're doing a voiceover or maybe it's not. It just really depends on your script. I think in my case, I would like to have all of the years come on quite quickly. And they're just gonna come on immediately after those bars fade on and that's gonna save us a lot of seconds. And then the actual bars themselves, they don't need to fade on for three seconds. That's an awfully long time. I think one second is going to be fine. Sales, that's just one word. It doesn't need to be a second and a half. I'd say, I think we can get up to 0.8. I think that's the shortest between the two. And then let's go one second for each of these numbers. And then we'll have our man come on and he could be about two seconds. And I think that's gonna move along a little quicker and still look nice. And there you have it, how to create your own custom chart in Doodly. Thanks for watching.